was 1975 or 76, I can't be sure exactly. And it was a, an encounter with three UFOs. And it was one of those hot summer evenings. And at the time I was sharing, I was sharing the, uh, a flat with uh, three other guys, a house actually. And uh, we'd been out for a drink one evening uh, up to the local Windsor Castle pub in Maidenhead. We left there around about 10 o'clock, I'm guessing it was that kind of time, because it had got dark outside and it was the summer, summer months. So I guess it must have been somewhere around that time. Uh, and we got, got back home, uh, went into the, into the lounge. There were some French windows which opened out into the garden. And uh, I immediately opened the, the windows because it was, it was a beautiful evening, very, very warm. And three guys started watching TV. One, one of the fellows was my brother, my dear brother. And uh, I didn't want to watch TV. It was too, uh, too, too nice an evening. Um, uh, so I did what I quite often used to do, well, and st still do to this day, I stargaze. Um, it was too much of a, a, a beautiful evening. It was too much of a, 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 an experience not to uh, take advantage of. So I, I went outside and I lay down. And um, the sky wasn't pitch black. Um, as we know, around, um, around towns and cities, it, it can even, even in the dead of night, it can be ink, inky black. And um, so I lay down for about five or ten minutes. All the time, my eyes were becoming a little bit more accustomed to the, to the, um, to the night sky. So I was starting to see more stars and so forth, uh, the odd shooting star. And after about ten minutes, I was aware of some movement off to, to the right-hand side. So effectively, that was the, the east sorry, the West, um, and uh, I just disregarded for a couple of seconds, I didn't know what was going on, then I gazed back again, and all of a sudden I was aware that there were three objects in the sky moving across. Now, when I saw this for the first time, my, mate, my brain didn't compute. You don't normally see that kind of thing. Now, these objects were, I'm guessing, uh, they're probably about the size of the moon, uh, if you see the moon in, 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 in an evening sky, they were silhouetted against the night sky. So they were just black discs against the inky, inky dark sky, if you like. Perhaps a little bit smaller than your, your little fingernail uh, held at arm's length. Now there were three of these objects, no sound, no lights, uh, no noise, nothing. Now the, the middle object was going as like it was on rails almost, it was up going absolutely straight across the sky from west to east. And uh, there, there, there were two others, uh, two, more, two more UFOs. So there was uh, one on either side of the, uh, the, the, the one which was in the centre and that was going, like I say, it was almost on track, it was absolutely straight to the die. But the ones on either side, they were almost like trying to keep up with it and moving, moving around. Um, almost like it, they were gar guarding it or uh, scouting, if you like, whatever the term would be. Um, but as I say, the three three objects are completely autonomous of each other. And I'm guessing the period. I, I it's hard to remember. I think I think they were. I probably observed them for about forty seconds, from the period uh, from one end of the the sky until the other. Uh, they weren't fast moving. Um, now, when they got directly above me, uh, once I've ascertained that what I was seeing, I wasn't imagining things, I called into the guys who were sat busy watching television. And uh, none of them came out, but uh, apart from one, one of the guys whose name was Jules. And I said, look, look, look. And then all of a sudden he said, yes, yes, three of them up there. And he, 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 he like, got really excited. And I, di I didn't... Um, uh, I didn't suggest to him that there were three. I just said, look up in the sky, can you see anything? And he said, yeah, three, 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 uh, three discs. By which time they were almost just going out of, uh, going out of view. And uh, that was it. But the impact 
that the uh, experience had on me, I've kept with me for my whole life because it was something very, very, uh, well, it was very special and it was something I will always remember.